lovely countrymen. Hi, welcome to my channel. Hello. Hey there. Today, I will be showing you how I shave my precious bon chien, my dog, my beautiful dog. So, let's get started. Okay, so here we go. Step one, get a dog. Step two, give your dog a treat. He's a good boy. Step three, grab the collar and the, well, take two, beep. Love the dog. Take his collar and his bandana. He needs to be naked for the shower. Yeah, he looks just like old Einstein. You need towels. You need a hair dryer. You need a brush. You need doggy shampoo. You need treats. You need a trimmer and some spiffy. Next, wash the dog. That was fast. Good boy. Oh, he's so cute. Here's my razor set. I got it from PetSmart, I believe. It's got different attachment heads, so you can trim at one inch, one eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch, half an inch. I have a quarter attached to my razor already. That's my go-to. I always pack a comb too. You never know if you're gonna comb out a mat or a clump of fur. Gently, of course. So I'm just showing you guys how to attach and disconnect the head, and you wanna make sure your razor's clean before you start. Also, your kit should come with razor oil. You want to attach that. There's a swivelly thing and I don't know what it does, but that's fun. Okay, so get going. Start shaving, start your engines. You can kind of see that I'm doing a sweeping motion um, and I get a little handful of hair, not hard or anything, and you kind of do a sweeping or a scooping motion underneath the fur so that you can get underneath the clumps and the matting and it'll, it'll work like a charm. If it gets stuck, don't force the razor through. Ooh, what am I doing? Okay, in this part, I'm showing you guys that poodles, most every poodle has fur that grows between their toes. It's just how they stay warm, I guess. I don't know why. My dog's ticklish. I don't know if other people have ticklish dogs, but um, sometimes his little toes go when he gets his toe shaped. In this particular part, he does not want his foot shaved. And so, at first I don't think anything of it, but later on I get a little worried that maybe he's got a split nail or something. So just be aware. Um, again, hair gets stuck in the metal part and the plastic part of your razor, so just check both kind of frequently. Make sure that your razor is lubricated. You don't want a dry razor, it'll get too hot. I don't show this part, but another way to trim around the feet is to just use scissors and kind of shape the fur, but since he's wet and I don't really like to do that, I just use the razor. So here he's being finicky with his paw, so I'm kind of concerned at this point that maybe something's wrong, so I am gentle with him, I reassure him, and I make sure he feels safe before I keep going, otherwise he's going to be afraid of this whole process. So there I am checking his nail, seems to check out. I don't know why he was being finicky, he was just worried. So on the top part, there's most likely no clumping or matting, so you can just kind of comb through the fur with your razor. It goes a lot quicker. I kind of have an old, dull, and slow razor. I'm sure if you have a nicer razor, you can kind of use this motion the entire time you're shaving, but it takes me a lot of time. It takes three to four hours to completely groom my dog, so it saves me 90 bucks a groom, though. That's nice. You can see my razor doesn't always catch under the fur, so I have to back up and go in. You don't want to keep going. Pulling on the hair that hard would bruise your dog's skin. Ouch! There, the fur is stuck in the razor head, and that's what causes it to get really hot. So, again, keep checking, keep cleaning. When your pets get up like that, you want to make sure that you are doing your best to accommodate for their movement. They're not at the groomer. They're not tied to a pole for two hours getting shaved down. So let them move, let them be free. You're gonna have an easier time doing that. As you can see when he stood up, I found different parts to shave. If they feel uncomfortable, like now when I'm shaving his booty, um, he sat back down, he told me he didn't wanna do it. I tried one more time. He said, don't shave my butt please, mom. So I said, that's fine, dude. And I started shaving his back. So be flexible with your pet. Um, if they don't want something shaved or they wanna wiggle around, just move to a different place. Those of you with OCD, I'm sorry, but you can't just do one section at a time. You kind of need to be, um, go, go with the flow on this one because, yeah, your pets, 
will ask it of you. Look at that cute face, those big brown eyes, like little Hershey kisses. Mm, I love my dog. He's very curious. You can see during the whole video, he's always watching me to see what I'm doing. He's watching the razor blade to see how it's moving and what it's, you know, shaving. Um, sometimes when he was standing up, like this part right here, um, he wasn't standing, but he was watching the screen. I had behind me the screen attached to my camera, so it was kind of the monitor, and he was just watching himself getting shaved. It was so funny. Um, to shave their armpits, you just lift up their arm, and it stretches out all the skin underneath them, and it gives you a good angle to shave. Their face is one of the hardest places to shave because it takes a lot of trust and time. And even then, I mean, you know, I've been shaving his face for almost two years now, and he does not like it. Once they get over the noise, the buzzing close to their ears, then it's really just about them sitting still. And every time this boy yawns, he looks just like his namesake. There's not really much to say right now. Um, when you're holding their chin up, don't cover their nose. That's how they breathe, obviously. Um, little booty here, he likes to lick when he's nervous, so he'll try to lick my hands when I'm grooming around his mouth. Because he just wants to let me know that he loves me and I love him back, so I let him lick me. There's old Einstein. What a guy. So you can see I'm redirecting his chin, not roughly, um, and everything's sped up super fast, but yeah, when I redirect his body, I'm not like whipping his whole face around. You gotta be gentle about it. Lead his face away. When he was a puppy, his hardest area to groom was his ears because of the noise. He hated the noise. Oh, darling, your nails are fabulous. Mm. Mwah. Who does your nails, dear? The best way to do paws is when they're sitting. The best way to do back paws is when they're laying down, as you'll see. If you guys have any questions or if you do something better or different, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to have a better way of grooming my dog because this takes, like I said, a long time and I might just need to man up and buy a better razor. kind of clean as I go. You can kind of see there used to be a lot of clumps on the floor and they disappeared. I just stuff all the clumps of hair into a Walmart bag. I try to get as much as I can off of the carpet and into the bag and then the rest of it the sweeper usually takes care of. Oh! That booty dough. To get the inside of his back legs, um, sometimes he lays down and he kind of just spread eagles his legs. Um, so I can get his inner thighs or I'll do it when he's standing up. It really depends on what he wants to do. <laughs> that sounds funny, but yeah. As horrible as it is, I mean, the two worst places to groom are their butt and their private area, but um, yeah, I mean, it's going to keep your pet clean. It's going to keep hair from growing near the odor area. It's going to keep poo from sticking on their booty. And, um, like, especially for him, he kind of drizzles as he walks when he's done peeing, which is really gross. But, so, some of, sometimes when his fur is longer, then he'll have that, like, the pee smell and the bacteria still on his fur. So I keep it short in those two areas so that I minimize bacteria and odor. He's such a curious boy. You'll see his face keep blocking the camera. Some of it I cut out, but he just wanted to watch what was going on, so he kept moving his head to the side to watch me. Speaking of, Albert, I hear him back there. If you have a grooming table or like a, a folding table in your laundry room, I don't know anybody that has a laundry room that big, but if you had one, I'm sure that would be an equally good place to groom your dog. I just do it on the floor so that I can let him be comfortable in his environment. He can kind of sprawl out and oh, he 
he's so cute. He can sprawl out and do what he wants and I get the, the movement and the freedom too to do what I need to shave him instead of putting him, like I said, at the groomer, on a table, tied to a post. It's kind of sad. And he hated that. He only went twice, but it was horrible. So I tried doing his paws standing up in the back and it was not easy and he kept wiggling and this is where he got really ticklish. So yeah, it cuts away to some of the other stuff. Um, to shave by his eyes, I don't know if I learned this from a YouTube video or there's a, an instructional DVD that comes with your grooming kit, but um, I believe that when you're grooming the eyes, you're sweeping downward. So from outside to in and towards the nose. There's a little footage of me cleaning up the fur on the carpet. Ayo! And some snazzy. Some spiffy, excuse me. Ugh, oh, what a handsome boy. Yeah, he does really good grooming. I know he gets fidgety and wiggly, especially when you speed up the video and you can see all those little movements, but... Oh, he's such a good boy. I will say the key to grooming is to go along the grain of the coat. So if you saw when I was shaving his sides, I was going down rather than, you know, chest to butt. So I was going from spine down to rib cage. And on the face, I talked to you about outer eyes towards inner eyes. So just go along the grain, the natural flow of the hair, go along that. With the legs and the feet, you can kind of get creative and go against the grain to get it the length you need. But yeah, be gentle with your dogs, be patient, and it's gonna take some time for them to be comfortable with the grooming if you've never done it yourself before, or if they're a puppy and they've never been to the groomer. So be patient and love your dog, and thank you for watching this video. Click that like button, subscribe down below, or if it's over here, down below. Someone click the buttons. I would love that. All right. Squeak! Squeak squeaker! Thank you guys for watching! See you next week, and I know my apartment's kind of dark right now, but I thought you guys might appreciate more Albert noises before we end this video. So, way! Albert! Oh, good boy! <laughs> there you go. He's throwing his toy at me now. Oh, yeah, it's a good dog noise. Did you see the hole in my shirt? Oh, wrong arm. <laughs> Where'd it go? I lost it. There it is. Do you see the hole in my wrong hand? <laughs> All right, that was, that took up too much time. <clears throat> I love him. He's so cute. He's so fluffy. Things are weird. Cake.